Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about pendant motors. It will be based on two motors that I worked with, so it won't be a whole guide to all of the motors out there, so please keep that in mind that I am only talking about my own experience and two motors that I worked with. Uh, Dremel that I started with and for them that I currently use. So I receive a lot of questions from you asking what would be the best motor to get. Um, you could also call it rotary tool, pendant motor rotary tool. Um, so which one would be the best to get in the beginning or if you should invest in that more expensive tool right away or if you're good with budget option at first. So it's really hard to answer that question obviously because the circumstances are different and I don't know if you will realize after a while that this is something you want to do and that would be great if you could invest in the proper tool from the beginning but there is a chance that you might change your mind and then you know you've already bought an expensive tool where you could have started with something cheaper first but i will share my own experience today with you and hopefully maybe that will help you make the decision so let's start with dremel this is dremel pendant motor that I got in the very beginning. I will leave the price on the screen here. And it's a Dremel 3000. Yeah, I mean, it was okay. <laughs> I was on a very tight budget when I started. It was a few years ago and I didn't have good knowledge either to uh, choose. A proper tool. So I was using obviously internet, I was using YouTube videos and I was trying to find something that would be the best for the amount of money that I was able to spend and this one was all right and first I got just this part so it didn't come like I didn't buy the set I only bought the motor so it didn't come with a flex shaft. Flex shaft is this part. It's flexible flexible shaft and you can have different hand pieces over here and you attach it onto the main motor. So this one came without it. So I was actually working uh, holding the whole motor in my hand and there was a different bit over here and I would be attaching my bits directly onto here. It wasn't bad. <laughs> I was really excited when I first got it because that was already such a huge change to all manual work that I did before. And we're talking cleaning, sanding, polishing, crazy. So that was already like an epiphany that I had. Like, wow, you could do this with a tool that's automatic and that's the job for you. Wow. Yeah, that was really exciting. But after a while I've realized, but then I finish work and I'm like this. <laughs> and my hand would be so painful that I started looking into improvements. And also one of the things is with this model that you are obviously changing the speed manually. In the, it didn't come with, for example, food control that you would press and you would change the speed that way which is the case, for example, with four of them. But the, this one didn't have it. So I would have to change the speed manually. So if I wanted to be faster, I would have to change it. If I wanted to slow down, I would have to change it. If I want to turn it off, I would have to... Ah, oh, no, at first I wasn't suspending it. I would have to uh, turn it off manually. So then I got the flexible shaft and that was an amazing upgrade. So if you're looking for a cheap motor, get a flex shaft. Spend a little bit more and get to yourself a flex shaft because that changes absolutely everything. Your workflow. You think you might be wasting your money on something that you'll be good without this, but we're talking your strength, 
your hands are your most important tool. This won't matter, this, this won't matter if your hands are damaged. I can't work on some days when my hands are shaking because I lose precision, right? Because my hand is shaking. I have to use both hands. And that was constant case with this motor because my hand was absolutely exhausted from holding it. And don't be fooled, you will be working with this thing for most of your time because you're using it for so many jobs. It's crazy. You can use it for cleaning, sanding, removing metal, pre-polishing, polishing obviously, leaving marks on metal, um, texturing pretty much. Um, you can do simple engraving if you have a proper adapter attachment. You can do stone setting. Obviously I'm not talking just about Dremel right now, I'm talking about pendant motors in general. Some will do certain jobs and some won't. So <laughs> don't come after me. Uh, I didn't say that you will do all of that with every motor, uh, just in general. So to give you an idea what can be done with it. Anyway, this was incredible because it took the pressure off of my hand. I could work for longer. My hand wasn't throbbing anymore from holding the actual motor in it. And my work worm was no more flexible, <laughs> sorry. Uh, attaching bits was much faster. And yeah, just a really great addition. So if you're looking for a budget version and you're looking at Dremel, um, I would get a set or buy the flexible shaft immediately. And obviously, once you have it, you can suspend your pendant motor now on a special uh, hanger holder that you can attach to your bench. Um, be careful which one you get though, because obviously like with everything, you could get a very cheap version that will break very soon, or you can get something sturdier. I got first a uh, holder for about a few pounds on Amazon and it would be bending constantly. It was just too weak to even hold a motor like this. Now with Foridon, I have this uh, 40 pounds or 50 pounds worth holder, which is absolutely incredible. It's steel, nothing will bend it or break it. So that's also another part worth considering, even if it doesn't seem so obvious at first. So yeah, this one came in this handy case that I am now using to store it in here because I am no longer using it. An upgrade came from Foridum. They, as a part of our collaboration, they sent me their motor, which is SR series. I will again show list all prices and model on the screen uh, so you can read it. Everything will be linked in the description box as well. So make sure you check it out for any links or further reading, whatever it might be that you need. So yeah, this one has food control and you don't have to turn it on and off manually. You can turn it off manually, of course, then the food control won't work. But after you turn it on, on the motor, you can then use the food control to work with it which personally to me, after my little experience with uh, Dremel, uh, is a very important safety feature. So I will talk about this more in another video, but in short, I once had a little accident with my Dremel while it was already suspended on the holder. So I would have to reach out to turn it off. And to be honest, that was very scary because something caught on my uh, flex shaft and started spinning so fast. It was really dangerous. And the time it took for me, you know, to put it away and reach out to turn off the motor, it felt like forever. And a lot of things could have happened in those seconds that it took. So it's, it's really great to have this option of 
immediately stopping the speed when while you work when you are working with food control for example so something to keep in mind another thing is that it's better quality obviously it's more money and I understand that it might not be something you could go for right away but it really changed a lot the hand pieces are metal there are different ones you can choose from you can change them the one the set came with is this thicker hand piece which is great i mean i i don't have anything against it you change the bits using the special key so you have to turn here and you take it out because it's built like this and you can use different shanks that have different thicknesses which is awesome because this one you can adjust it to the thickness um, so that's the one it came with but I got myself an upgrade where it is oh there it is which is a quick release hand piece and this one speeds up your process even more because obviously you just press here to open and you change the bits to something else. Close it, keep working. So yeah, my main thought is that with more expensive, more professional equipment, your process is faster. You're saving time, you're saving energy, it's just safer and it's better so that's what i could tell you about this one so final thoughts which pendant motor should you get based on what i worked with if you are on a tight budget and there's no way you could invest in something more expensive go for dremel or another reputable company uh, like Dremel that makes these cheaper motors. It may be less comfortable to work with and maybe it will have some more cons but after all it will have the main perk that you're looking for which is the price and it will get the job done. So that's one thing I really want you to take out of this video. These motors, most of them, will get the job done and honestly I think that's the most important thing um, so yeah I've used my Dremel for a very not very long time get yourself a flex shaft and you'll be good to go but if you can invest a little bit more if you know that this is something you will be doing and you will be using it on a daily basis a lot get yourself for example for them because it's a good investment and your workflow will be so much better it will be safer Food control is an amazing addition. Um, the choice between hand pieces is awesome. For them is a very good brand and I'm not paid to say that. I just, I really think so. And after working with this motor for, how long has it been? Almost a year, yeah, or a year. That's why I've, I've waited with this video because I really wanted to have good experience to base my review on. It's great, it's really great. I didn't have any problems with it, I didn't have any issues, I didn't have any scary situations. It's all good. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's my opinion, That's my. these are my thoughts. Again, these are just my own personal thoughts based on what I worked with, based on my own experience take it or leave it <laughs> and I hope it helped you a little bit maybe to uh, make up your mind choose which one you want or find out a little bit more about each of them let me know in the comments below if there's something you wanted to know and I didn't answer that if you have any more questions if I missed anything and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for tuning in today make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one and other ones check out my vlogs if you're interested in live behind the scenes and my workflow things like that and yeah thanks again have a wonderful weekend take care
dust of moss and the taste of love's gray coat. 